In this video, I want to talk about gravity uh, in the mechanic settings that we are considering. Okay. Now, for those of you who have not done physics, um, and for those of you who do do physics, there is a slight difference in accuracy that we deal with in mathematics. Uh, we're not really as accurate as those doing physics, so those doing physics may be used to using gravity as 9.81, while uh, we will use gravity as 9.8, okay? Now, gravity, for those people who don't do physics, is an acceleration, okay? Um, so, if uh, a particle is falling towards the Earth, uh, then it is accelerating under gravity towards the Earth at 9.8 meters per second per second. Okay. So, um, if you had a particle that was uh, thrown up into the air, for example, it is being still being pulled down by gravity. Okay, but it's just that its thrust upwards is beating gravity at that point. Okay. But if it doesn't uh, escape the Earth's atmosphere, then it will come to a stop. Okay, So velocity will be zero, and then it will start falling uh, at 9.8 meters per second per second. Now, the, this is the gravitational constant uh, that we kind of really talk about um, for mechanics, um, or at least the gravitational value that we utilize. Now, in, in, to be accurate, um, that number is slightly different depending on where you are around the Earth, but those differences are really negligible for our kind of calculations, our level of calculations. Okay, if you're on the Moon, uh, that g would be this would uh, be different. Okay, um, it would be less than the 9.8 meters per second per second. Okay, that's why when you see people. Uh, who've been on the moon, they're kind of bouncing around because gravity is not so strong, okay? So, um, just so that you're aware of how uh, this G is going to be embedded into questions as we go from here on out, um, I'm going to use it in some of the examples coming up in the SUVAT problems. Uh, some will, some won't include it, but I just wanted to talk about it now so that you had kind of the information there. Now, the last thing that I want to mention, uh, which is very important, is you need to be clear uh, with your exam board as to how many significant figures they're going to allow for your answer if you've been calculating with gravity. Now, if gravity is set at 9.8, uh, then this is a figure that has been rounded to two significant figures, which means that your answer in your calculation should be rounded to two significant figures also. Okay, so if you'd round it to three significant figures, now ideally the mathematics that you've gone through is still right, but your answer um, is only going to be true to two significant figures. So you could um, potentially lose a mark on your answer for accuracy if you're not careful. Your, uh, your rounding needs to be accurate for what problem you're dealing with. If the question had set G as 10 meters per second per second, which it could, then your answers should be rounded to one significant figure because G had been rounded to one significant figure. Okay, So just be aware of these little fiddly bits just to keep in mind when dealing with gravity.